What's up guys, it's Ray J back with another video. And in this one, I want to break down something with SPY test on the overall markets and break down some very important levels to watch what we're seeing for the share prices of the different stocks out there, what the news is saying about the markets, what you should be watching for as time progresses. But just note that I am not a financial planner, so take nothing I say as financial advice. And also, if you guys can, please check out the Weeb link. If you deposit any amount of money, you're guaranteed 12 free stocks. If you deposit $500, you're guaranteed 20 free stocks. If you deposit $25,000 more, and you're guaranteed 75. The offer ends very, very soon in just a couple of weeks. Anyways, for now, we're just waiting to see what's about to happen. So Tesla should be announcing their deliveries like very, very soon. We'll see what ends up happening. I'm still waiting for this to come out. So I'm probably going to check this towards the end of the video. Uh, they should be coming out any minute now. So we will see how things end up going. But I'll come back to Tesla towards the end. For now, the market is uh, kind of flat right now. We'll have to see how the market responds. We're a little bit red in the pre-market, but still flat. So we'll see if we end up losing our key supports or not. There's not really much data coming out. So I want to focus on that first. And then I'll talk more about the charts. So today is Wednesday, October 2nd, 2024. As you guys know, there's not really much data coming out. We just have a couple of Fed speakers throughout the day. We also have Bowman giving a speech later on in Barkin and just a bunch of them throughout the day. That's pretty much all that's coming out for today. Now, there are still a lot of tensions going on between Israel, uh, Hezbollah, and all these different uh, you know parties that are involved in all of this. Um, right now, there's been a lot of talk about how the Israeli military is saying that they're going to be, uh, once again, continuing what has been started they're not necessarily going to stand down and they say they're saying that iran will have to pay for the missile attack they have not done anything yet in retaliation uh so this is going to be very important uh if they do do something this could affect oil prices so we'll have to wait and see uh just know that i'm not saying that this started by anyone i'm just talking about what happened so far for the last couple of days the history of this goes back many many centuries if not thousands of years always i always want to make that disclosure the reminder so i don't really uh you know end up saying something that ends up looking incorrect to a lot of people out there but that's what my main point is also, the dock workers are going on strike for the first time in decades. This is causing concern for our supply chains. This could have an effect on prices, so you have to be very, very mindful of that. This is including 36 ports and over 45,000 members. This is very, very important. We'll see how negotiations go. So this is still going on, and that's a little bit more negative, at least for the markets. So we'll see what ends up happening, at least as time goes on. Uh, I also want to note other factors out there, like as the market is moving. Uh, we're going to have to be <laughs> excuse me, very, very patient. I also want to note that um, market has a slight down day yesterday. You know, it's making a lot of headlines, all the attacks that were happening. Uh, but there's nothing else that was worth uh, mentioning that was too crazy or too important. Uh, as you guys know, Tesla should be announcing deliveries around 9 o'clock a.m. Eastern Standard Time today. Uh, it's currently 9.04 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Sometimes it's a couple of minutes late, so we're still waiting to see when this is going to you know, end up coming out. Oh, I think it just came out like a minute ago. So it, I think it just came out right now. Let's see. So Tesla did in production about 469,000. Not bad whatsoever. And deliveries are at 462,890. That is very close to expectations. So not bad by Tesla. Numbers have come out. Um, they produced a good amount and their overall deliveries are quite strong and a nice amount of growth year over year. So not bad whatsoever by Tesla. So the share price is still a little flat right now. We'll have to see where we end up going from here. Uh, we'll see if Tesla could hold 248 or 50 EMA or not. We're just waiting to see. So this was as expected, their deliveries report, but still good growth year over year. So it's still bullish for the long term for the company. So very, very exciting. So we will see how Tesla does here. Um, don't forget, we have this 260 areas or resistance. We'll see if we break that or not. So far, we're dipping a little bit, but we'll see what the reaction is by the time we open. So I'm going to have to wait on this for just a bit. For the broader markets, I just want to say that the market's going to be in a very, very um, interesting position. SPY is shuffling near its 50 EMA as well. If we don't hold above 567.5, we're at risk of dipping to 565. And if that fails us, we're looking for 563. 563 to 562, all the way down there, if that, you know, if this level ends up failing. So 565 fails us, we're looking for the 562s. If we break past 569, we could try to rebound for 570. Right now, SPY is shuffling, so it's very indecisive, but there is a risk of kind of like pushing upon open and starting to dip back down. And I do think there's a risk of downside still. We're not doing a great job at rebounding, so it could pop a bit and start slowing down as time goes on for nvidia nvidia is once again attempting to do the same thing we have resistance to watch for at one 
119. It's going to be a key resistance, and our support is currently at 116. It could push a little bit towards 119, in my opinion. Might try to rebound, but then we'll see if we get a rejection on NVIDIA to continue even lower to fill this gap. We could continue to dip closer to like 112 or those lower levels. We'll see if we rebound first. Watch and see if that ends up being the case for NVIDIA for 119. Then we'll see if we get a rejection. Uh, for Bitcoin, we're a little bit more bearish. Look, we reject off our 200 EMA. So there's a risk of this dipping all the way down to 60,000. So be careful on Bitcoin. It's looking a little bit weaker in my personal opinion. For, <laughs> excuse me, ES, we have resistance around this 5760 area. Our support to watch for is at 5735. If that level fails us, we could be dipping all the way down to this next imbalance towards the lower 5700s. So watch and see if we get this little pop to 5760. And we'll see if we get a rejection back down to the imbalances below into the lower 5700s. So watch for that very, very carefully. Uh, as far as Tesla goes, we're still at 250. We're going to give this some time. We're still waiting for it to develop. Uh, sometimes the reaction can take a couple of minutes. So please be very patient. For NQ, we have a head and shoulders like structure. We're trying to rebound a little bit on NQ. We have 20,000 resistance. We need to get back above 20,100 to try to start pushing. If we can't break past 20,100, we could just reject and continue to fall to 19,800. So be very, very mindful of this. For the QQQ, we have this resistance around 481 and 484. We'll see if we get a rejection or not. Don't forget we have this gap to fill at 475. So we could pop into the 480s and start dipping back down to where this gap happens to be. So watch for this very carefully. For uh, Apple, we have resistance at 226.25 and then 227.5. It's possible to retest those areas, but I do see a risk of coming down to fill this gap later on. So if it does pop a bit, it will eventually come back down to fill the gap in 222. For the IWM, we're still dipping right now. We're going to be looking at the support around 2. 15. We also have resistance at 219. As of right now, we're kind of stuck in the middle, but I do see a risk of us dipping closer to about 215. So it could pop and then drop as well. Uh, Coinbase is looking, in my opinion, a little bit more bearish. Um, there is going to be a risk of us dipping down to about 160. Amazon is once again uh, stuck in the middle. We're going to be looking at this 186 area. If that breaks, we're looking for 187.2. And we have support at 182.82 as well. So we could try to rebound for the 186s. And we'll see if we get a rejection and start dipping back down to our 200 EMA. So Amazon's looking like it's kind of flat here. We're kind of consulting, so give this some time to develop. For others out there, we have Meta has this resistance at 580 and then support at 570. Uh, it's still outperforming the market, may shuffle a bit up here. We'll see if we dip to 570 or not. And we have Microsoft, which is trying to rebound. We were holding 420. The main resistance is 424. Uh, if we kind of like push for 424, it's still possible we pump a little bit, then reject and start dipping back down to 420. If we eventually lose 420, we're looking for 414 as our targets. We're not ready yet. It may rebound a bit first before we see that move. Google's consolidating. It could actually dip closer to 166, and we'll see if we get a bounce or not. So watch that as well. The VIX is, has potential to try to push to fill these gaps above, so be very mindful of that. We'll see how the market reacts, but so far it's very important to note all of this. Once again, the market is still a little bit weak, kind of heavy. Uh, so as far as Tesla goes, we are actually dipping a little bit. We're starting to dip a little bit more, but don't forget to watch the 4 hour 50 EMA, that 248 areas support on Tesla. If that holds, we could attempt to rebound back to the 256 area. If we lose this, we're looking for 244 as our next target than 240. So be careful with Tesla. We'll see if two, uh, 248 ends up holding or not. That's our 50 EMA. So right now, Tesla's dipping at the time of recording this. Uh, basically, De del deliveries was kind of like a buy the rumor, sell the news event. Everything was aligned with expectations for delivery. So good deliveries for Tesla, but we'll see how the market responds. If the market dips more, that could also drag Tesla lower. All right. So thank you for listening. Have a great day, guys. I'll see you guys very soon in the next one in a couple of hours and peace out.